What's going on YouTube? Geothon right here. So in today's video I have even more progress to discuss about the uncovered jailbreak on iOS 13.3, 13.2, 13.1 .13 .13 for A12 and A13 devices as well as the older devices. But before we get into that, check out the Jailbreak Central forum. This is my forum where you can get the latest jailbreak news and of course you can request jailbreak help. So just a couple of hours ago Pound Own posted quote, just found the root cause of the bug that breaks system wide injection on iOS 13. Now if you remember yesterday I made a video in which I talked about the fact that mostly everything is done except for the tweak injection. We didn't have any tweaks for the uncover on iOS 13 at that moment. And Pound's own linked that to a problem, a system-wide issue with the injection on iOS 13. Well, it turns out that he managed to fix it today and posted this in here. He also followed it up by this, quote, just got cylinder tweak working on A13. So basically he said in here that he got the cylinder tweak working on the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, but also on the iPhone XS and Max and XR because it's backwards compatible and of course this means a lot. This means that the first tweak ran on the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro which is actually quite cool especially since the uncover will be the very first jailbreak for the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. So at this point he managed to get the development to the point where the jailbreak supports tweaks and also on the A13 and A12 devices. He then followed it up with this quote just properly fix the issue that was breaking system-wide injection on A13, hashtag uncover. Now I explained in the previous video yesterday what the injection is meaning. So basically tweaks are snippets of code who basically hook into another process, change the way that process works for a while and then of course lets the process alone to continue its work. It only changes parts of that process. The tweak injection on a jailbreak is usually done with the substrate, Cydia substrate or mobile substrate or substitute. And then he also posted in here quote, successfully installed old snowboard and enable the Felicity theme on A13. Quick injection seems to be working flawlessly. So at this point we do have the ability to get themes and tweaks on the A13 devices, so basically the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, finally have themes and tweaks with the uncovered jailbreak for A13 and A12 devices. So at this point iOS 13 and 13.3 and stuff like that are completely jailbroken. Then Pawn followed up with this, quote, I will now be working on cleaning up my changes and issuing a beta build to the internal beta testers. We're almost there, hashtag uncover. So at this point the internal beta testers will get the uh, changes, will get a new IPA so that they can test if everything works fine. You wouldn't like to get a beta build because these can be unstable and if there is any bug that will manifest on your device. So you want a clean build or at least a pre-release one that has been tested before so that you don't do experiments on your own device. And then of course he posted this in here, quote, for what it's worth I fixed several stability issues in the packless implementation while updating it for A13. The issues which I fixed include freezes, issues with some system services and random resprings. So while updating the packless implementation for the A13 devices, he also found a couple of bugs that were causing the issues, for example freezes and stuff like that and random resprings and he fixed them so at this point when you get this jailbreak it should also be much more stable including for the A12 devices, that is basically the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR because these bugs were previously part of the A12 build but now they are no longer going to be. So not only Pawn is adding support for the iOS 13 and 13.3 and 13.2 and stuff like that and for the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, he also improved support and of course he improved the stability of the jailbreak for the previous devices and of course that's very very important. So at this point we're very very close, the jailbreak is mostly complete, a beta will be issued to the uh, internal testers and if everything goes okay on testing he will of course be able to release. It's a quality control controlled release which is very important because you don't want to break anybody's devices and you don't want to release a buggy or untested build into the wild. He has a lot of followers and many people use Uncover so it would be pretty irresponsible to release a non-tested beta build to the general public. So yeah, this is going to support the iOS 13.3 all the way down to the iOS 13.0 and everything in between that includes 13.1, 13.1.1, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 13.2, 